Many thanks to PCB Wave for sponsoring this video. Good day everyone and welcome back to DX Explorer for another video, a short one this time. I'm not going to make a, such a long one today, um, but uh, it's related to the video that I posted uh, recently about the uh, region receiver. And I was saying that I'm, I don't plan on building a CW filter uh, for the receiver just because I'm trying to keep it simple. But I got a couple of emails and a few messages on Instagram from the, um, some of the subscribers asking me that maybe I could add something uh, quite simple. So that's what I had in mind uh, initially. So I decided to get back to it and uh, try to add a very, very simple CW filter um, for this receiver. It's not something fancy. Um, it's uh, very simple. Um, it's not very sharp but it does help and it sounds pretty good. So anyway, let's get uh, at the desk really quick um, and uh, have a closer look at the schematic and then we get to listen to the result and how it sounds. Uh, but of course, not before saying thank you to my friends at PCBWay for sponsoring this video. You already know that PCBWay offers great PCB prototyping services, PCB assembly, SMD stencils, CNC, 3D printing and even more. But right now you can unlock your color PCB printing with PCBWay. Find out more about the new UV printing technology offered by PCBWay. Have a look at the link down below in the video description and read the blog article written on the PCBWay website. Find out more details on how you can create unique PCB board designs just for you. Remember, PCB way is the way. So the schematic of the filter is very simple. It's a very basic filter. Uh, it's based on one PMP transistor. I'm using a 2 904 You have four resistors, four capacitors, and that's it. This is the entire filter. <laughs> um, uh, this one is also inspired by a uh, uh, schematic from uh, Rick Anderson, uh, same like the audio amplifier. And um, uh, I just, modify the filter a little bit to to make it sound the way I like so uh, in the original schematic over here uh, there were um, sorry uh, 10 nanofarads capacitors I'm using um, uh, 22 nanofarads capacitors and uh, also the resistor over here was different um, I'm using 1.5 kilo ohms basically if you want to um, lower the, f the resonant frequency of the filter you might want to the, um, increase a little bit the value of these two capacitors maybe uh, 39 nanofarads and uh, you might also want to increase the value of the resistor maybe 2.2 uh, kilo ohms maybe 3.3 kilo ohms maybe 4.7 kilo ohms depends on your preferences um, if you want to um, make the filter resonant, uh, resonant a little bit higher, then you will decrease the value of the capacitors, you will go down to 10 nanofarads and maybe you will lower this resistance. I believe that's how it is. Anyway, if you want to make your life easier, you can just play with the capacitors and instead of the um, uh, one resistor over here, uh, you can add a trimmer capacitor, maybe something from uh, zero to 4.7 kilo ohms or maybe up to 10 kilo ohms and you get to pick the frequency the resonant frequency uh, that you like so uh, yeah it's very simple it's very basic it's not very sharp uh, but i like it the way it is uh, when you power it actually maybe you will get the power from the audio amplifier for example place a 100 ohms resistor over here so you don't have this uh, oscillation, it, it will not go in oscillation. But uh, uh, for example, you can play around and do some testing if you want. I did that, but uh, the filter ended up being way sharper than I wish it was. Um, you can actually place two filters, one after the other one. You don't have to place the capacitors um, between the filters. Uh, you just connect the this. 22 kilo ohms resistor straight over here on the output of the transistor and only after that you will um, on the output of the other um, filter same like this one you will place the capacitor and of course this uh, capacitor will stay on the input uh, of course depending on the um, how do you call this uh, on how you connect this to the receiver and to the audio amplifier you might not need this 
uh, capacitors if the audio amplifier already has one but because I have a lot of switching stuff uh, to switch the filter in and out I place a capacitor just in case and uh, who knows maybe I want to build it differently so when you build two filters one after the other one believe me is very very sharp uh, you might have to increase the value of this uh, resistor over here because uh, they might uh, start to oscillate and uh, what else um, it, it also depends on the audio amplifier that you're using so yeah you'll have to play around a little bit and get it to work the way you want but I adapted this one for the particular audio amplifier that we're using in this uh, region receiver and it works fantastic with the receiver so anyway let's get really quick um, to the to the desk over here and listen to how it sounds so this is the way it sounds uh, like in real life straight from the receiver unfortunately the propagation is pretty bad today i'm really sorry and uh, yeah uh, you get to listen a little bit uh, to see how it sounds Now uh, I'm going to connect the filter to an app on the phone and uh, you get to, um, I'm going to cut my microphone so you get to uh, actually listen to the filter but uh, you will be able to see the difference uh, between um, having the filter on and not having the filter at all and how the frequency response is. So that's it, <laughs> this is the entire video for today, a very very simple filter, uh, pretty effective, um, I really like it, I also added this switch uh, that it, it allows me to uh, skip the filter and uh, take the signal from the receiver or whatever I'm plugging in straight into the preamp of the um, amplifier, of the audio amplifier. So. Uh, this is pretty much a preamplifier on itself, except that it has a little bit of filtering. Uh, if the volume, uh, what the, the way I'm trying to adjust um, the input of this um, filter, we have this two, 22 kilo ohms uh, resistor. When I'm switching from um, uh, with the filter uh, or without the filter basically I'm switching um, the signal that comes into the, the amplifier um, either through the filter or straight into the preamplifier I'm trying to adjust the value of the 22 kilo ohms um, resistor in order that the volume would be uh, somehow identical so it, does, it will not create um, um, some sort of disturbance you know like uh, maybe one of the volumes of the options will be a little bit lower for example the CW filter will have a lower volume and once you get uh, straight into the amp then the volume will be a little bit higher so 
you adjust the value of this uh, 22 kilo ohms resistor in order to have a very similar volume uh, doesn't matter on which one you're switching so probably i might have to lower mine somewhere around uh, 12 uh, kilo ohms or something like that uh, to raise the volume a little bit just so it would be uh, somehow equal to the um, audio signal um, when uh, I'm not using the uh, the CW filter and that's it <laughs> very very simple filter I'm going to add this one into the audio amplifier schematic um, since we're going to use uh, this audio amplifier mostly for um, uh, for simple circuits uh, from now on and uh, why not maybe it's nice to have a very simple CW filter and uh, if it's not needed we just um, <laughs> skip uh, the filter and we go straight into the audio amplifier anyway that's it for today I hope you liked it and uh, I think it sounds pretty good I'm very happy and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video until then 73 and have an amazing rest of the week